Hi, I have designed a special program for you as you requested because you have won the competition and we're going to work with you together on curing your disease which is really great it is exactly what I want to be doing and I'm ready to help you and I'm here and I have been working on this for the last two hours to be able to give you what you need and what you want at this point. You have come to me, you have found me on the internet somehow and I'm glad we have met. So please get a piece of paper and pen because there will be a lot to remember and to write down. Are you ready? Because I am and this is not going to be any magic. It's it is a hypnotic video, but it is not the usual hypnotic video. Nothing would happen just from the sound of my voice, because my voice is nothing magic. But if we work on this together, I will send you the vibes and the right advice on what to do and what not to do. So we are going to fight for it together. Mm. Good. The first thing that you have to understand that is it is not your disease and it is not you, it is the disease which is residing within your body. So separate yourself from the disease. It is not you. Okay. Now think about why and how you have invited that disease into your body. But if you did not invite it, how did you allow it to come into your body, into your beautiful, healthy body? By creating the environment which is disease friendly. And when the disease saw your body, it thought, hey, what a nice new home. This is a very sad thought. And now, what we're going to do is retrace your steps back and think about all those nasty things that you have done to your body, that you have neglected in your body to create this disease-friendly environment which invited this particular disease into your body. So think 10 years back, think 5 years back, a year back, two months back. What have you done or what have you not done to create this unhealthy environment which is disease friendly? Maybe a drink with some friends, a late night out, stress at work, you know, whatever it was, it's all the same for all of us. Now we're going to go back and we're going to fix it one by one by one and we're going to change the environment in your body to make it disease unfriendly and very strong and there will be no diseases allowed into your body. How are we going to do that is by this magic program which we both believe in and yeah, hopefully it will help. We're going to listen to your instincts and recreate the environment into a healthy environment with strong immune system and um, will make your body aware of the invader inside it. So what we have to do is chase the invader away from your body. But it's not going to happen overnight or in three days. Because remember how long it took to create this poor environment to invite the disease in. It took months, if not years. So, we're going to do this in 90 days. You're going to dedicate 90 days to your body and to your health. And for the next 90 days, it is going to be your number one priority in life. Your health and creating the disease-unfriendly environment within your body. Making your body stronger, loving your body, nourishing your body and giving it all it ever wanted and needed and did not get from you. 
Now, first we have to learn how to love your body. Look at yourself now. Take your right hand, stroke your arm, and stroke your other arm with the left hand. Feel your face, feel your chest. And try to feel the emotion of love, the love for yourself, the love for your body. Say, my body is beautiful, I love you, I love your body, you're a nice body, all these little hairs and my arms, all this skin, which is not really soft, but it's my skin and I love it. My face, mm, love my face, hey, <laughs> love my hair. You're beautiful. You love yourself. You love your body. This is what we're going to do every day in the morning. We'll get to that later. Remember that your body is the only thing that you have from birth to death. Everything else comes and goes. People in your life, things, cars, houses, whatever. It comes and goes and you leave barehanded, you come barehanded, you leave barehanded, all you have is this, this is, this is all you have, you better love it, <laughs> it's the only thing, and we can't replace it too, so we have to take care of it. Now, first we will start with a big, big rubbish bag, get a big rubbish bag, go to your kitchen, First, you're going to open the fridge, start with the freezer, you're going to throw away everything from the freezer, all the food, it might be a bit of a loss of money, but it's okay, you're not going to need it for the next three months, and after three months it'll be useless to make a sacrifice, then open the fridge and throw away everything. There's nothing fresh in there, you're not going to need it. No sauces, mayonnaise, eggs, milk, frozen bread, frozen sausages, whatever, chicken nuggets, whatever you have in your fridge, it all has to go. It's going to be an empty fridge. You can even wash it. Then reduce the temperature to the minor temperature. I think it was one, like the weakest temperature. And leave it there. If it's a dirty fridge, wipe it with a kitchen towel or a paper towel or something like that. Then we're going to open the cupboard and find your salt. And if it's not sea salt or Himalayan salt, that will also have to go. Yeah, that's nasty. And all the white pasta, noodles, junk food, produced food, like um, processed food, which is packed, that will also have to go. And after you've done all your cleanup, you're going to go shopping. You're going to the biggest supermarket in your area, and this is going to be your shopping list. You're going to get three fruit or more. So, a couple of apples maybe a bunch of bananas, oranges, and whatever else you can find. So three, four types of fruit. Don't get too much. You don't need a big bag of apples because it's not going to be war tomorrow and the supermarkets would still be open. So three, four types of fruits, not too much. If you have mangoes, get mangoes too. Then you're going to get sea salt. It says sea salt on it, and if it's Himalayan salt, it's also good. Pink colored Himalayan salt, just a small bottle or a small bag of sea salt. Then you're going to get almonds, whole unpeeled almonds with the brown skin. You can eat them, the, the hard peel is off, but the soft peel is still on them, so they're not white, they're brown. A small bag of almonds. Then you're going to get a blender. If you don't already have a blender, get one. It's a small investment, but you will never regret it. It's only $20, $30 or so, so get cheap, nice blender. 
them back to the vegetables, you will get kale or salad leaves or something which looks green and leafy. Just a bunch, yeah. And then we're going to get three vegetables. So you can get tomatoes and potatoes, carrots, maybe pumpkin, broccoli, cauliflower, whatever you see around. Not too much, so don't get a whole huge pumpkin. And then we're going to go to where the rice is and get a bag of brown rice. And if they have organic brown rice, even better. Then we're going to find oat groats. So what you use to, you know, porridge. If you can find porridge which is not flattened, so it's a whole seed, which is kind of roundish, long round seed, and it's called oat groats. But if you really can't find it in your supermarket, get the flattened ones, but without any anything like sugar or raisins in them. We get raisins as well from different departments, so go get raisins or sultanas, whatever you like most, and a bag of sweet dates, you know, dried dates. Get a bag of those. Then back to where the water is. The water, you know, in big bottles like this. So two liters or a liter and a half of good water. Don't get the cheapest brand, just get something medium priced or expensive. Get two bottles. And the last thing, if you don't have a glass container, at home but this big something that would look like a lunch box but glass with a tight plastic seal get that too this is all your shopping then you can go home now this day you will finish dinner before 6 p.m. so it's going to be early maybe you'll feel a little hungry but it's okay it's only one day and you will set an alarm to 9.30 p.m. Mm. You will stay home. Don't go out. At about 9 p.m. you will take a bag of almonds, take 30 almonds out of the bag, place it in a bowl and soak it in drinking water. You don't need too much water just to cover the almonds. At 9.30, you will lie in your bed with the lights off, all ready for sleep. You're going to close your eyes and think about what is going to start tomorrow. Because tomorrow is the important day. It will be the first day of your nourishing your body program and creating the disease unfriendly environment loving your body and giving it all it ever wanted so as you lie in bed you will take 10 deep breaths not with your mouth you breathe in with your nose and breathe out with your nose as well as you breathe in you feel your stomach rise And as you breathe out through the nose as well, with the mouth closed, you feel your stomach go in. And in and out. And in and out. And so ten times. After you've finished your breathing exercises, you'll take your right hand, put it on your chest, Stroke your chest, stroke your shoulders and your arms and you will say, you can say it aloud or you can say it in your mind, you will talk to your body, you will say, my beautiful body, I love you and I'm sorry for neglecting you for so long to make you 
into the body that you are now, but I will take care of you. You don't have to follow these words exactly, as long as you apologize to your body, say sorry for neglecting it, and tell it that you do love it now, and you will take good care of it. Because this body is all you have and you're going to dedicate three months of your life, the next 90 days, to nourishing, loving and healing your body. After you're done with this, you will close your eyes and wait until you naturally go to sleep. It will not happen in the next five minutes because it's too early but it will happen over time. Just relax and accept the fact that you're not yet falling asleep but you're waiting for the moment when you're going to fall asleep. Don't check your phone, don't switch on the TV if you can't fall asleep in the next 10 minutes. Just lie there and wait and think about what you did wrong in the next years and how in the, in the past years and how you will do it right in the years to come. In the morning, this is your day one, you will wake up at 5.30 a.m. You have set the alarm to 5.30 a.m. previously. It will be hard the first time, but you have to force yourself to get off the bed, go and brush your teeth. The first thing that you will do in the morning after brushing your teeth you will take your big bowl of big um, bottle of water. You will visually separate it into three parts, and you will drink the first part slowly, breathing and drinking the water. First thing in the morning that goes into your body is the water. But don't forget to brush your teeth first. So one third of the bottle is done. What you're going to do next, from 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. is going to be your exercise hour, but you don't have an exercise pattern yet. So all I require you to do is to keep moving without sitting down or lying down for the next hour. From, seven, from 6 to 7 a.m. you can walk around the room in circles, you can do sit-ups, push-ups, press ups, you can do stretches, you can do this, you can put your arms up as long as you keep moving. You can dance slowly, whatever is comfortable to you, but don't stop moving for one hour. Later we will design you an exercise program as well. After you finished your exercise at 7, Keep checking the time. You will prepare your breakfast meal. You will take the blender, wash the almonds and put them into the blender. Remember you have soaked your almonds the day before. You will pour a bit of water so, so that your bottle is half empty. So what you haven't drunk in the morning, leave the bottle half full, half empty. <laughs> some water, like a cup of water, almonds, and five dates, five sweet dates that you bought yesterday. Then you're going to blend it for a minute or so into almond milk, sweet almond milk. Then you're going to get your oat groats or oats and pour that over the oats. Mmm, nice! Then you're going to get your fruit and while the oats are soaking in the almond milk you will wash the fruit and cut them into small cubes pieces. So it will be an apple, bananas, maybe an orange which will take you about five minutes. Then you mix it in with your porridge and you sit down, look at the bowl, don't turn on the TV or the radio or check the newspaper Look at the food that you're about to have and say to your body that this is for my health. This is the healthiest breakfast I have ever had and this is for you, my body, because I love you and this is all I have and I'm going to take good care of you. So, 
think that to yourself and enjoy your breakfast. With every spoon you take, you're eating health and you're eating your ways, your way towards health and you're improving your body's condition. So you're doing good, you have started and you're doing it already. Chew well, just take your time because you did wake up very early and you have plenty of time to chew. Mm. Now, if you have to go to work or somewhere to school and you don't have a chance to cook lunch outside, you're going to boil rice in the morning. So after breakfast, take a little pot, put a cup, small cup of brown rice into the pot, pour a bit of water so it covers the rice just about a centimeter above the rice. So rice level, water level, centimeter above the rice. Boil the rice until it's edible and steam the veggies in another pot. So steamed veggies, you don't have to have a steamer, just a pot. Put that much water in, teaspoon of your sea sea salt or Himalayan salt, mix the salt with water, put the veggies in there, cut into cubes of about that big, cover the lid and when they're sort of soft-ish, you can turn it off and take the vegetables out. Now, this is going to be your lunch. If you do stay at home, you can cook it around 11.30 a.m. but if you're going to work you have to cook it in the morning because you're going to bring it with you. So get your glass container, put all the food into the container. Rice and vegetables can go into one container next to each other and seal it. You're also going to need raisins and dates and water to take with you to work. So the rest of the water this is what you're going to be drinking today and a small bag of raisins you can even bring your almonds raisins and dates and your container with rice and vegetables and off you go at 11 a.m. you're going to drink more of the water and after that 11 30 you can have a bit of a snack like dates and raisins or even a fruit if you didn't forget to bring it of course from 12 to 2 roughly this is going to be a lunch time and don't be shy about eating something out of a container and not ordering in the restaurant if everybody else is just have your lunch by yourself in the office and think that you're doing your body a great favor. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. With dinner, what do we have for dinner today for you? Before dinner at 5 p.m. you're going to drink the rest of your water and this is going to be all the water for the day. So 5 p.m. your last water Make sure that you had about two liters of water to two and a half liters this very day. No coffee, no juice, no milk except the almond milk, nothing else. All you are drinking is pure, mineral, natural water that comes from the underground. You have to give up a lot, but hey, old habits replaced with better new habits much better. 5 p.m. you drank the rest of your water and now it's dinner time so hopefully you can get back by dinner because you would really have to do that unless you prepare dinner with you. And your dinner tonight is going to consist of raw vegetables so you got a couple of tomatoes, a cucumber, perhaps with a bit of celery or whatever you enjoy, capsicums, bell peppers, right? 
whatever you enjoy, whatever crunchy vegetable salad, you can cut it up and make it into a salad. Put a bit of lemon juice, not from a bottle, but from a real lemon for the future. Or just cut the vegetables up, put a bit of salt on a plate and dip them into the salt and eat with a little bit of salt. Don't overdo it on the salt though. And your dinner will be finished by 6 p.m. as well. Your alarm, your first alarm is at 9.30 p.m. So, you're going to do exactly what you did the night before. At 9 p.m. you're going to put 30 almonds into a bowl and soak it with a bit of water, not tap water. And you're going to lie in bed at 9.30 with your eyes closed and take 10 deep breaths and think that you did a really good job today looking after your body and working your way to health and creating a very disease-unfriendly environment within your body. It will take 90 days, but you are prepared to do this and I'm with you and I'm ready to help you. So lie in bed, 10 deep breaths, then you touch your body, feel your body, feel your face, feel your beautiful forehead, your nose, your lips, your neck, your chest, your shoulders, your arms, hair, and say to your body that you will take good care of it and you will heal it and you love it because it's the only thing that you have and this routine will stay with you for the next 90 days the menu will change a little bit but you have to let go of all the milk products all the animal products honey is okay um, bread has to go as well pasta nothing. All you're eating is grains, brown rice and old groats and you're allowed hazelnuts, almonds, cashew nuts, it's fine. All sorts of fruit and all sorts of vegetables. Later you will, I will tell you what to get with the you know what spirulina is? It will help you with iron and B12. It'll just give your body more vitamins. But don't take any medicine or any vitamin supplements. Nothing like that. Nothing apart from what I have mentioned in this video. If you have any questions, email me and I will tell you what to do next. Otherwise, good luck with your first day and I hope that we can make you into a healthier person very soon. Three months is a very short time. I'm excited about this and I'm really happy to be helping you.